down. And then air is going to come back up and it's going to be trapped in there. So I have to reanimate it with the torch. And what that does is it draws that all off. And then when it's set, then we'll knock it out. And then we'll do the other side of it. Okay. Okay. Great. So, right. hey, everybody, this is Matt from the Antique Boat Museum. We're here at Babbitt Bearing Incorporated in Syracuse. Uh, we are making a, a series of videos with them, uh, and this is the first of that series. Uh, so we've got, who have we got with us today? Kevin, Lori, and Gary. I'm going to be pouring the Babbitt for the connecting rods here in a, in a, a few seconds. Okay, so we're ready to go. All right, we've got to have a tin glove. Everything is hot. Everything is 600 degrees here. Okay, there's a connecting rod. Nice fresh tin on it. Looks just like aluminum foil. All stuck to the steel and everything. Okay? All right, now that part is 600 degrees. Okay? Because the flash point of Babbitt is 450 degrees. So we don't let it get below that because otherwise it won't stick to it. Okay? So we're going to dam this up a little bit like this. Right? Giving it a enough room for the material to fall in there. Hold this down so it doesn't leak. Hopefully it won't leak on us. See, because the metal expands and contracts. I had it set. Okay. Contracting. Right? Okay. That's nice and hot, nice and flat. Now we're going to take the Babbitt. This is Babbitt, it's 800 degrees. Grade 2 Babbitt. Okay, and this becomes the white metal that's in there. All right, so now we're going to pour the shell. Got a little leaker right there. That's okay. I wasn't supposed to do that, but it is. That's okay. What that does is we do this. Damn that. Because when we manufacture parts, you never know if they're flat or not. Okay, climbing up there, forming the face. And that's that. And what that does, the bat, it's 800 degrees, part 600 degrees. It's going to get to a median temperature, somewhere in there. And then, when the Babbitt sets up, Babbitt is inherent that it's going to stick to the coolest thing first. Right? So that would be the shell, which is this right here. Okay, so it's all dammed up, and then it's going to take maybe oh, a minute or two to seize up, and then we're going to reanimate it with the, with, with the torch, and that's going to give us a nice quick bond. And you've seen, if you've seen one of the connecting rods that, would, that was already done oh, yeah. down there. Yep. Okay, so that we did that, and then we roughed it out so we could sign a jacket, right? So this is going to take a minute to set up. And then I have its other half in here, and as soon as that sets up, we'll knock that out, pull the other one out while everything is still nice and hot, and do that, and that'll be one connecting rod. Then this will be next, right? I left this open so you can see the bare steel, the nice clean steel, and then the tinning agent that's on here. Now that's solid, it's like chalk, until it gets heated, and then it animates, and it turns to liquid at 450 degrees, okay? So then that, well, the, the babbit will stick to that because that has zinc in it and the zinc will stick to the steel but the babbit itself won't. Otherwise it will come out and it will look like a, a whole, like water on a fresh wax car. It will just run right off. Mm -hmm. Okay, see it's starting to set up right here. See the little pockets down in there? That's air trapped in there. Okay, so that's going to settle and what happens is we take it and then we reanimate it. Down in here, there's enough weight of the material that when it pushes down, it forces all that up. But on the last little bit, sometimes it has trouble. This is in the static pour. When we cast something, obviously it's just a centrifugal force. We'll knock all that out of there, okay? So this is just gonna be reanimated right here. See that hole right there? Come right up. Now we overfill and raise it up because Babbitt has what's called slag or dross, right? And as soon as the, the contaminants hit it, you'll see the contaminants go to the top, right? So we brush that aside and that's what these are. That's what that is, a contaminant. 
So we have a bore size at two inch 765 or something like that. All right, so we made the fixture to allow an eighth of an inch of Babbitt extra on there. So when we clean it, the contaminants go up and away from the, from the surface. Okay, so then we're gonna have all nice clean material by the time we get down there, right? You can see some of the contaminant right there on there, which is just that leftover flux, maybe some uh, uh, beef, beef beaver bristle, right? There's a little air left in there. It's probably good, but we're gonna make it nice and pretty because we cut all that off of there, right? So we're just gonna bring that up one more time. And all that little gas, I'm, I'm gonna say air, but it's gas, some kind of a gas, and I don't know what it identify. All right, so that's gonna set up, that's pretty much set up, almost, for our purposes. We're gonna take that apart, all right? Then we're gonna knock the armor off, and you'll see on the inside, inside as well okay it's above the split line see that's why the belt's there so the clean material so when we coat it flat sand this and put it back together to make sure that it's true that that material is good in there as well right and it's all about the good material okay so and normally under normal circumstances I'd have all these done all, all set to go in when I'm doing one I would put another one in and then clean it up and then the next one would be finished but for our purposes, we see the different stages of what's going on. So then we take our new felt again, all right? And then we'll do the sister end of it. And hopefully this one will not make it go a little bit better. Okay. On this one, in order to get oil through there, it goes through the bushing, all right? So you've got through holes in here and through holes that go through the bolt where you stuff that with mud. It's kind of like a fiberglass. It's, it'll bake, it's almost like clay, so that won't, won't leak out of there, okay? So now we have nice, hot, fresh tin again, all right? See, that melts at 450, so that's nice and fresh, and it says stay liquid, okay? So now that's gonna go on, the fixture, like such, and then we're gonna place fixture back in place and get this close. This stops it, well, it's supposed to stop it from leaking. All right, nice and centered. dross away, get a nice clean material underneath there. This is our cauldron, this is the nice clean material, right? And then, if this wasn't stuck, it would look like wax on the car. But you see it flow up the side? Going right up the side, nice and easy like that. And right over the top, boom. A little bit of leak in there, but that's okay, because that means that things are going out. And we just dam that up a little bit. Okay, then that'll be the part. Now what happens next is, this will cool, and I'll take it out there, and I'll do the bench work on it. I'll make sure that these are flat, put it back together nice and clean, and then it's gonna go to the mill, right? It's gonna be faced off on both sides, bored and radius, and then it's gonna go down and be sonic checked because we guarantee 100% bond, you know? So we have to have that. Right, but you have to have a clean surface to do that with. Nice, fresh, clean surface. So, this is gonna cool, right? I'm gonna do the bench work on it. I'll flat sand it, get it all nice and clean. And there's maybe some, uh, this is called Babbitt stick, right? See what I felt, it felt is here and here. 
So on the corners where we uh, changed the configuration of these, because we went from these liners to back to the original, which was all Babbitt. So we milled these slots in here to give it a nice anchor and a nice face. All right, but this felt, these holes are so close to that that it sometimes leaks through. Yep. So that felt is in there. So what we do with this Babbitt stick is we take a little torch and we puddle certain areas of it to build that up, yep. right? And then take it flat so it's nice and clean and square all the way around. And, uh, and then, like I said, then it's gonna go to the middle. We're gonna rough it out and then we bead blast it, make it nice and pretty. And then we sign a check all of them. Right, then it comes back. Then we, we, because what's going to happen here is this, with the babbit in there, if you, if you have ever been, uh, I'm sure you've all worked in, in stuff like this before, but what's going to happen is this is thin. So when the babbit sets up, it's going to want to do this with a part. Right? So we get it flat, and then we rough it, and then it relaxes and comes to size. That's why we do it in the beginning first so you don't uh, bore it oversize or, or take it out of round or anything like that so that's why it's in the different stages so that's one complete one that will come back down to room temperature and then I'm gonna uh, like I said I'll clean it up knock all the mud out of it put it all back together nice and clean and then it's gonna go to the mill for the machining and then for the sonic check and then back to the mill because we took the liners out and the Babbitt ones, the original Babbitt ones, didn't have a groove in it with a through hole in the orifices. Okay, so we rough it first, and then it'll come back and then we'll put this groove in. And then we're gonna chase these holes that are in this cap for the oil to go through to feed it. All right, that's at like a 20 degree angle, uh, 93 thousandths through hole. Right, so we'll chase that all back down there and make it nice and pretty and clean it all up and have it all set for you guys. Okay, so that's basically it right there. And then that gets knocked out. Okay, then I would throw that all back in the oven to get reheated for the next one, which will be this one. Only I wanted to, I have to treat that one because I wanted to show you how the steel looked underneath when we cleaned it up. Okay, so that becomes the, the second half, right? And that, in the rough form, is going to be your connecting rod. All freshly babbitted, all nice and stuck, you know, all nice, nice and clean. I, I don't know if it was originally just babbit before or, and then it was rebuilt using, you know, the, the, the tin liners, and now it's going back. Or it was actually a change in engineering. I think Matt documented that somewhere around like a well we could look at the print that's the, out the there. The print said fifty one. Fifty one is when they went away from the direct babbit to the steel. To the steel. Yeah. And now we're going back, right? That's correct. And that's yeah. and that's the way it's going to be, back in yeah. its original form. Yeah. Okay, so that's one port. Okay. Then my process would be that I would already have another one starting to heat up and I would just repeat it and over and over again and then you know, so we can get it expediently as possible over to the next stage, right? But I just left it in stages to show you how we got it, how we're treating it, how we pour it, and then uh, how it's going to be milled and all that other stuff is going to come right after that. We made a special fixture for it to locate it so it's zeroed everywhere, you know, so we can get a true mine bore on that. And, uh, you know, like we've done some motorcycles in the past, yep. you know, we've done some work. But this is the, the biggest of the, of the job. So we have a little experience in it. So, you know, we're kind of excited about having it, wanting it to be right, you know what I mean? But that's the, that's basically the process. I can't give you the particulars about how long things are heated. You know, there's, there's a certain uh, propriety that I don't know. The technique I own, but I don't know the propriety, you know? So, but that's basically it right there. Boom, port, one port part, right? Now that's still 350 degrees. So it's still quite warm. But we have one set up that was poured that is ready to go and see how it gets caught. And that, you know, so that way, you know, it looks like a nice even flow going through. Okay? So now I'm gonna clean up my mask and I'm gonna get ready to do another. Great. Right? All right. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thanks, Gary.